Could you imagine telling someone a joke and it makes them actually cry they hated it so much? Like, what do you do at that point? <laughs> like, do you just, like... Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field! That joke, that joke was so bad, it just makes me want to... same thing. I'm gonna get so pissed if it turns out that the joke book, like, doesn't do anything. <laughs> like, this is just some stupid thing. I've only got one joke left. The moon joke. You hear about the restaurant on the moon? There's great food, but no atmosphere. Well. We're all out of jokes, and she is not any happier. <laughs> I'm assuming that maybe when you get all the jokes, some stupid interaction happens, but we'll have to wait and see. Alright, so we completely and utterly failed. Um... Good to know. Oh, this is the guy reading. Hmm, what to read, what to read, sigh. I've read every book on the shelf over 20 times already. If only I had something more interesting to read. Whoa, where'd you come from? You gave an interesting book to Demi. Wow, this book sure is interesting. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Bro. Bro. Oh! Sorry, I must have zoned out for a moment there. Thank you for showing me this interesting book. I'll have to give you something in return. Let's see here. How about this one? Here you go. This book is a collection of some of the saddest poems ever written. Please enjoy it. We got a deep poetry book. Now, where was I? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Nice. Deep poetry book. No, not you. Deep poetry book. Where starts the battle? Sad. Oh, that is super tempting to put on Omori. Not going to right now, but that is very, very tempting. Is he so strong when he's sad? Alright, we now we gotta find the little girl who lost her doll. There she is. Oh, that's my teddy bear! You gave the teddy bear to Candley. I'm so happy to have you back, Teddy. Thank you for returning him to me. Here's a small gift for you. It's not much, but I hope you like it. We got the rubber duck. Come on, Teddy. What should we play first? I know. Would you like a cup of tea? All right. What does the rubber duck do? Rubber duck. A cute rubber duck. Doesn't like you very much. Plus seven defense. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess. A little rude, but whatever, right? <laughs> a teddy bear walked on its own? The first time we met that teddy bear, it attacked us. <laughs> we had to beat it in a fight, and it actually put up a pretty good fight. Okay, where am I at on my side, side missions? Ah, I just switched to Omori. Okay, we're still working on Weeping Willow Ghost Party. What is Call of Inspiration? Oh, to create the ultimate weapon. Hmm. Where is the other ghost? 
That's the real question. I know there's a, uh, how many, um, I can actually tell how many ghosts are left. There are two ghosts left. Oh, shit. Um, well, there could be one on the road. Um, and I know there's one up at the castle. I don't think there's one in this forest. So I don't remember there. Oh, we can actually swim across there. Wait. What? Where does this go? Oh, waterfall. A golden hero sandwich. Oh, it's a hero door, not a sandwich door. Now I get it. Make yourselves at home. Aru? The rarest bear. And a cruel. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Maximus the sixth, <laughs> or no, the fourth. Sir Maximus the fourth. In a cruel twist of fate, I lost my entire family in a day. Curses! If only I was stronger. Uh, Reuben, I'll take one more drink for my sorrows. Coming right up, Max. That is absolutely amazing. That the the last of the Maximuses is just sitting in here. Everyone gained five juice. Okay, I officially love this place. Every time we find one of these, we get five max juice. Yes, I did find the ghost with the um, glasses. We found, we found the ghost, um, we, oh god, which ones all have we found? We found the beard ghost, the glasses ghost, the, um, hmm, what were the other ones? Well, I guess the easiest way to remember it is we found the one in the desert, we found the one in the forest, we found the one... What the heck? Who's that? Mm -hmm. I love Sweetheart so much so they have acquired tickets to the most prestigious Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts event. Although I was unable to attain an ultra-rare impossible-to-attain front row ticket, my reputable salesman has assured me that my ticket will still see me in a prime location. He has also assured me that the event will start many, very soon, so I've been waiting here in line for many, many hours. Hmm. I wonder if we should tell him. Him? I am sure that at any moment, the event will begin and I will be guided to my seat by none other than Sweetheart herself. Now, as I am the truest Sweetheart fan, I could not even think of coming to the event without my most precious thing. Take a look at my beautiful... W w what's this? It's... Missing? No. My most precious thing. I will not be able to attend my dream event without it. You four, since you are undoubtedly lesser sweetheart fans, I must ask you to find my precious thing and return it to me. You'll know it when you see it. Oh, ho, 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 yuck, yuck. Okay. Hey kids, I couldn't help but overhear. That guy Pessy dropped something valuable, right? Something precious, perhaps? I might be able to help you with that. Hmm, this guy seems awfully shady. What's the catch, shady mole? Uh, ahem! As you may already know, we sprout moles are very intelligent and high-functioning creatures. The smartest of us all, the mayor, is creating a device that will help sprout moles do their work in a much higher capacity than was previously possible. A fabled device of legend. Whew. That, when complete, will entirely revolutionize the modern world. He calls it the bed. The B-E-D. The bed? What do you want that for? Hey, no questions. Give me a bed first and then we'll talk. A bed, huh? That seems simple enough. Wait, Kel. I don't know. He seems awfully untrustworthy. Maybe we should give him a bed and see what happens. 
If you think so, hero, but something about him really rubs me the wrong way. Where the hell do I get a bed? Remember how creepy that giant centipede boss was? From a bed store? Very helpful, thank you. Here we go. Blast! Where in the world is my good for nothing son? Last night I asked him to analyze the effects of my latest invention, the bed, and I'm longing to hear the results. Hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. Oh, uh, so I guess we have to find his son. rather bizarre fetch quest. Oh yeah, we gotta talk to the guy that wants tofu um, in the desert as well. I just remembered that dude's existence. Oh, a joke! Nice! I could oh no, it was the bicycle joke. Dang it. I already have this one. Huff, huff, huff. All this training's made me so hungry. I really wish I had some tofu right now. There you go. Wow, thank you for the tofu. I really needed that. In return, here's my most prized possession. Take good care of it. You got a big air horn. Where's this stupid guy? Why are you here? Oh, it's Rosa. I'm angry. Go away. Ah, uh, get fucked, Rosa. Bitch. <laughs> I mean, Rosa is kind of the worst. There he is. Use the big air horn and the sleepy mole? Yes. <laughs> Who are you? Oh no, I'm late! Could it be that I... No. I must have overslept. But sprout moles don't oversleep. This bed, it's powerful. Maybe even too powerful. I better tell dad about this. After that bowl. Bed that unleashes over sleeping. Dad, Dad, I'm here. By the God, son, where have you been? I, I'm afraid I have some terrible news. What is it, son? You know you can, you know you can tell me anything. Last night, while I was testing the bed, I, 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 I overslept. No, it can't be! If what you said is true, then all my research, this invention, the bed, it's all too powerful. You see, my theory was that a bed would help sprout moles gain a good night's rest and thus gain productivity, productivity throughout the day, but what good is it if this very same invention causes sprout moles to lose productivity instead? The bed has potential for greatness, but the current risk is too high. By the gods, what have I done? I cannot unleash this dangerous technology upon the world, lest our humble village might never wake again. Hey, you there, child, take this bed away from us. We have no need for such power. You got a bed. Now be gone and speak not of what you saw here today. 
Keep it secret. Keep it safe. <laughs> Beds are pretty terrifyingly powerful, to be honest. Do, do my eyes deceive me? I don't believe it. It's a bed. A real, genuine, bona fide bed. I'm going to use it right this second. Hey, what are you doing? We helped you, so you should help us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the attitude? It may not seem like it, but I'm a mole of my word. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but earlier, I believe I may have seen a sprout mole with a big pink bow digging through poor old Pessy's pockets. Oh, Rosa. A sprout mole with a big pink bow? That sounds like Rosa. That menace Rosa's at it again. Come on, Omori, we gotta make her hand over Pessy's thing, no matter what. Ah, uh, the joys of a fetch quest. We get to fight Rosa? I'm totally down to fight Rosa. Punch her in her big stupid face. There you are. Rosa, the jig is up! Why are you here? I'm angry, go away! Thanks to you, my dear sweetheart ran away with that blasted Captain Space Boy. Again! Uh, sweetheart was only a few doors away, but now she's flown galaxies away. How will I follow her now? Do I look like I can fly to you? I... I don't know if that was really our fault. Rosa, we know you stole Pessy's thing. Now give it back! This again? Why are you always after my sweetheart merchandise? I found it fair and square, so... It's Finders Keepers! Don't worry, guys. Let me handle this. Hey. Rosa. Why don't you and I try to work something out? Ew! No, I don't want to hear it. There is no way I'm giving you the most valuable new addition to my collection. Now get out of my house! Can I just stab her? I guess I gotta go talk to Pessy again? Heh, <laughs> Rosa's being difficult again, huh? Figure, she's always been like that. Here, take this and show it to her. There's no way that she'll refuse you after seeing this. You got blackmail? Now leave me in my new bed alone. Our business is done here. I like the shady guy. Man of his word, and he even went the extra mile to help us. Yes. Blackmail. My favorite. Back again? Humph. <laughs> you amuse me. Such a fruitless effort. Oh ho 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 ho. Step aside, guys. I'll deal with her. I hear a disturbance. <gasps> Look who it is! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! What are you doing? What are you doing, big girl? What are you doing, big girl? It's the Chloe Bear. It's the Chloe Bear. What are you doing, princess? Huh? Uh, you ready to go bed? You look tired. I'm also tired. I feel you there. You leaving? Okay, bye. Oh no, you're just gonna lay down right there? Okay. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Let me, I gotta go close the door. What are you doing, you big goof? What are you doing, you big goof? Hmm? Why are you wet? What are you doing? Someone spill some on you? Damn dog. Alright. Wait, Kel. It's true that Rosa is a real pain, but I have some serious issues with black using blackmail as a means to Hey Rosa! Check this out! Kel pulled out the blackmail. Wh wh where did you get that? I've I've changed my mind! 
Please, kind sir, I'll give you anything you want. Just politely hand over that blackmail at once. Ah, uh, yes, you wanted Pessy's thing, right? Fine, whatever. Take it. It's yours. Now give me that blackmail. Hurry up and do it! You traded blackmail for Pessy's thing. <laughs> he just incinerates it. I'm gonna need you to get out of my house now. You already got what you wanted, didn't you? Now scram! Scram, I say! Fuck Rosa. Oh, you found it! My precious thing! You gave Pessy's thing to Pessy. Thank you. I say, thank you. I say again. In return for your selfless deed, I bestow upon you the ultimate gift. You got a sweetheart bust? Ah, isn't it beautiful? May it fill you with joy for the rest of your days. Oh, ho, 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 yuck, yuck. What a horrible nonsense does this do? Or is it? Wait, what? Is it a weapon? Ah! <laughs> Ah, it's a weapon. A bust of sweetheart. A bust of sweetheart. It's really heavy. Like really, really heavy. Look at wow! It increases my damage significantly, but it lowers my speed down to two, and my hit chance is down by twenty five percent. Asher. Like, I like for Aubrey to hit super hard, but you know what we should do is we should give her an item that increases her hit rate. Um, binoculars could work. Was it made out of titanium? Perhaps. So we could do the seer goggles, which is one defense, three luck, and hit rate. Or the binoculars, which is two defense and hit rate. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the uh, seer goggles. I, I do believe one of Titanium's strengths is that it is, it is not particularly heavy. Oh, they fixed the floor. Oh, we should check on our artist, buddy. See what he's doing. Legas! You have returned! Please admire my latest masterpiece. It is already framed in the gallery ahead. <laughs> wow, he's super bad. Untitled. By the great artist, Rococo. Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? Give me a break. <laughs> oh, man. Well, are you happy with my masterpiece? Just so you know, as my skills become more formidable, my commission rates will also increase. The next masterpiece will cost you 5,000 clams. Will you continue to assist me on my journey? Yes. Le Magnificent! Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. Amazing. Okay, I know there's a ghost here in the castle. Oh my god, there's still enemies. Why are there still enemies?
So Sweetheart still hasn't found a new house yet, so I cannot take over the castle yet. Um... Fuck off! Okay. Oh, 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 oh god. Bro, I, I don't, I just, I, I don't care. I just, I, there are no words for how little I care. <laughs> the dungeon! I want to say the ghost was... Down... Here? No, he was in the he was in the gallery. Still streaming? I've only been streaming for like two hours. No, Hades, I've I've taken breaks, dude. Where's that dang spook? There she is. Oh dear, it seems I've gotten myself lost again. How- oh, how clumsy of me. You gave a spooky map to Princess Ghost. Oh my, what is this? A map to Sir Top Hat's party? Why, indeed it is. I must hurry now. Being lazy unbefitting of a princess. Okay, I think we're done here. I don't think- I don't- I'm pretty sure there's not a joke in the castle. Someone correct me on that if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure there's no joke here. I think all, I think all we needed was that ghost. It's not even a freaking double check. Ah, this place is huge. I I cannot be bothered to double check it right now. All right, my dudes. I think we're gonna go ahead and call it there for the night. Um, I have a I have an early doctor's appointment tomorrow with a dermatologist, uh, so I'm gonna be up early. Whew, and I've also got D and D tomorrow night. Uh, I've got a lot going on, so I appreciate you all joining me for the evening. Uh, we didn't encounter any spooky stuff, but we did get a lot of our side quests done. Um, the only thing we've got left to do is we've got to find one more ghost. And I don't know how many jokes are left. I might have to Google it or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with um, more Omori at night after my D&D game. Um, and I might stream something else in the afternoon. Uh, but, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> so thank y'all again <sighs> so much for joining me. And uh, I'll send y'all on a raid. We've got a very, we got a pretty small party here tonight, but I know just where to go. God damn it! Can't spell. Go hang out with Girl DM, my favorite, one of my favorite people.